Hi, I'm Susan Rutledge, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to align and distribute objects on your artboard using a key object. First, I'll explain how the process works, and then I'm going to show you a shortcut. For the first example, I'm going to select the text and this orange square. I want to align these on top of each other, but I want my square to end up within these guidelines right here. So I'm going to come over to the Properties panel, and I'll click on Horizontal Align Center, and Illustrator does center the text over my square, but it's moved it all the way to the center of the artboard, and that's not what I want, so I'm going to undo that move, Keyboard Shortcut Command Z. Let's move over to the Properties panel and find out why that happened. When I click on this little pull-down menu, I realize I had a line to artboard selected. So when the objects were centered, they not only were centered on each other, but they were centered on the artboard. That wasn't what I wanted. I wanted to align them to each other. So if I choose Align to Selection and I click on Horizontal Align Center again, they are aligned one with the other. They didn't move to the center of the artboard, but they didn't stay within the guidelines either. And this is what happened to me for so many years. I'd have to then come back and move the objects where I wanted them on the artboard. But you don't have to do it this way, and I'm so excited to show you how Illustrator has set up key objects, and then I'm going to show you that shortcut. I'm going to undo that move, keyboard shortcut, Command Z, and Command Z again, and I'll come over here, and I'm going to choose Align to Key Object. Now, when I choose Align to Key Object, I notice that the text is now highlighted in the same color as the bounding box. That means that Illustrator has chosen this as the key object. When I click on Horizontal Align Center, because the text was the key object, the text doesn't move, the square moved to it and centered it. And that's not what I wanted. I needed the square to be the key object. Let's undo that. Keyboard shortcut Command Z. And I'll come back and choose Align to Key Object again. And once again, my text has been chosen as the key object. Let me show you why that is. I'll come to the Layers panel, and the square is at the bottom of the list in the Layers panel, which means it's on the back layer on the artboard, and my text is just above it. Illustrator considers all of the objects that are selected and chooses the one that's the highest in that grouping on the list to be the key object. If I choose several different items, and I come back over here and choose Align to Key Object, now the star has been chosen as the key object because it's higher on the list than the text or the square. But you don't have to let Illustrator choose the key object for you. Let's come back to the Properties panel, choose the text and the square, and then we'll change this to Align to Key Object. All I have to do is click on the square. Now you can see that I have a bolder line around my square and the text is once again black. That means that this is the key object. So finally, when I click on Horizontal Align Center, my square stays in the same place and the text is centered over it. I'm going to undo that move though, Keyboard Shortcut Command Z. Well, as fast as that was, there is a faster way. Now, most of the time when I'm working on a project, I leave a line to to selection chosen. So when I choose two objects, I don't want to have to come over here and choose the key object from here. All I have to do is click on the object and you see that it has been chosen as the key object and all on its own, Illustrator has changed the setting. So I can come over here and choose this and that's all there is to it. Let me give you another example. I'll get the ellipse tool, keyboard shortcut L, and drag out three objects on the artboard. Then I'll get the selection tool, keyboard shortcut V, and select all three of the objects. Now a line to selection is chosen, and I'm not going to change that. All I have to do is click on an object, and Illustrator allows me to choose that as my key object. Then I come over and I click on the vertical align center icon, and all three of my objects are aligned aligned to my key object. And that is the shortcut for selecting key objects. Now let's delete these. So the only time you really need to change this setting is when you're trying to align something to your artboard itself. 
All right, now let's talk about when we distribute items. I'm going to move this star right against the guide here. Then I'll select all of these stars. I want them to be aligned to this orange star. I'll click on it, and that makes it my key object. And then click on Vertical Align Center. And now we're ready to talk about how we distribute these objects. Now, if I just wanted them to be distributed evenly, I would uncheck this as a key object and come over to this align area and click on the ellipsis and I can choose horizontal distribute center and when I do Illustrator evenly distributes my stars and it uses the left star and the right star as boundaries now notice that I have this little area here distribute spacing and this is grayed out well let me show you how this works but you have to again use a key object so I'll select my star as the key object, and then I'll come back, click on the ellipsis, and now I can actually change distribute spacing. Illustrator is going to be changing the spacing, and it's going to use my key object as a starting point, rather than leaving the right star along the right guide and the left star along the left guide. So I'm going to type in 0.15, and then I'll click on horizontal distribute space and now Illustrator has distributed the spacing of these stars at 0.15 inches and it started out with the star that I had selected as the key object and from here rather than where the stars were over at the left they're all 0.15 inches apart and that's how you use a key object to distribute spacing on your artboard. I hope you've enjoyed this video and that you've learned something new about aligning and distributing objects. I'll tell you, when I discovered how easy it is to choose that key object, I just had to share it with you. And I want to encourage you to subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell so that you don't miss any of my future tutorials. I look forward to seeing you soon. Thank you so much for watching. Bye now.